Hello everybody, it is me, internet famous icon and celebrity, Rekid. Today, oh god, I should have grabbed my chair for this bit. Today we're gonna be playing Ancient Dungeon VR. Now I've got the camera on. I uh I don't I don't really have much else to add. Gamer Sups Cup. Use use code Rekid at checkout for 10% off. Please. Okay, thanks. Anyway. Yeah, we're gonna play Ancient Dungeon VR, hit video game where you dungeon ancient style in VR. Sit back, relax, and enjoy me getting shit on. Uh, I'll explain more of what this game actually is as we play it. Okay, so welcome to uh, Ancient Dungeon VR. I played this ages ago, and um, oh my god, guys, go <laughs> woman. Um, I played this game ages back, and it is pretty much just like VR, VR, the Binding of Isaac, or Trove, or some, something along those lines. It looks, um, it's very blocky. It's kind of fully voxel It's, you know, it looks very similar to Barony. Um, but yeah, effectively this is just a roguelite. You go into a map with a weapon and you get more powerful as you go through. But if you die, you gotta fully restart. Here we are at the start of the game. These are the overgrown great- uh, Skip the bop. We are at the overgrown gatehouse. What is this? But yeah, this game is, um... This game's quite- I just <laughs> hit my ceiling. Yeah, I can- it's so good that I have a camera on because I can now show the height issue where, you know, how everyone's always like, how do you keep hitting your ceiling? You must be joking, right? That's gotta be a joke. No, look, I, I think I'm looking at the camera. Yeah, look at that. Look, it's a real problem. Um, but yeah, we are- we are gaming epic style today. My goal is to hopefully actually beat the game start to finish because last time I played I wasn't able to do that. Um... And, yeah, it's gonna be a fun and epic time. Ooh, statue. Press trigger on both controllers to sacrifice one key. I don't even have a key to sacrifice yet. But yeah, this game is just pretty much walk about a dungeon, look for sh** and, um, progress. Uh, see, we've already got an item. Okay, okay. Mm. Eh. Okay, that's a trap. So we're gonna when hit temporarily slow time. Oh, that's that's what you gotta do to block, <laughs> to block the the arrows. It's just so oh, that's so sketchy, isn't it? But yeah, you also get a knife, and I'm really bad at throwing it. There we go. Oh, an apple. I don't need it yet. I'm just gonna throw that over there. Okay, we've got two regeneration things, which is actually quite nice. Oh, yep, yeah, my, my wisps are doing all the work for me. <laughs> Thanks, guys, appreciate it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything across this... Across... I don't think there's anything across that. Something's telling me there ain't anything over that way. Uh, but yeah, this game's quite chill. Like, in the sense of, you kind of are just walking about. Doing your thing, trying to get further. And like, for no reason, it has some of the nicest cutting mechanics I've ever seen. Like, every single bit of grass can be trimmed with your sword. For no reason. They didn't need to do this, but you know, it works. It works so well. And like, even going straight down won't cut it properly, but if you actually hit the edge, it does. It's so cool! Yeah, another drop down point. Did I get a key? No? Okay, we're going that way. I'm trying very hard not to turn around so that you guys can see me on the camera like a good YouTuber. Um, but I don't know how well I am at doing that. As I haven't really used a webcam properly in a little bit. Last time I used a webcam, I was playing a PC game. Yeah, I can't open this yet. I don't have a key. Harry. Harry. Yippee! Um, but yeah, this game is like... Honestly, if you have a VR headset, this game is like a 9 out of 10 game, you should buy it. It's got a very generic name, but by golly is it fun. It is a fun game. Like, even the fact that you can- Even the fact that you can cut through an enemy, and because you've smacked the enemy, it won't kill the thing next to it, it will just push it away, is such a cool detail. It's such a weird thing to say. But yeah, this game is pretty damn good. There we go, finally, a key. Yeah, got it? Okay. We got a key. Now I can go open that one chest. <laughs> I can't wait to look back at the footage of me jiggling me arms around and look like an absolute nonce. What's this? 20 coins after completing an area. I'll, 
take that. Speaking of coins, shop man. Hello, shop man. So if you remember the last video, uh, I'm not going to attack him. Hi. Uh, we're just going to see what he has. Melee weapon slowly increases in size, but resets after each attack. Either melee or range damage slightly increased after completing an area. Stake. If I, um, if I get more coins, I'll come back. Because I kind of want that, um, the, not the IV one, the other one. The other one seems pretty, pretty nice. Oh, okay, never mind. We got a boss room. I'm not even going to be able to go back. Eh, 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 eh. Oh my god, okay, well, I, never mind. We didn't do it without taking damage. Victory! We did it! What is this? Increased rain, increased rain damage, increased rain damage. All right. Well, continuing on foot, we are in the the second map of this game, the infested dungeon. Now, let me tell you, is this dungeon infested? It is. It's like I. This this is probably like I I hate this level. I'm not even gonna lie. This sucks. It's just like take every single sewer level and make it into a roguelite. You still got the funny cutting. You can still do the whippy whippy nay nay. But you've also got, like, every single enemy does that. Every single enemy will do that, meaning you can't step into the- into the stink, or you die. And see, that dude's gonna explode into stink. He's- It's one of these maps, where you just have to not die. And not get flustered. And not walk into the stink. Um, but yeah, no, this game is pretty swag. I don't- I don't really know what else to say. You break pots to look for coins and steak and an- yeah, yeah, apple. Um... Oh yeah, I completely forgot. You can also just use your fingers if you wanted to. Like, I just punch steel with my hand. Yeah, you can just punch stuff. For some reason, my fists do more than my sword does. Uh, oh yeah. Those are- I like to call those the wall testicles, because that's pretty much what they are, those things. They will sit on the wall, around corners, and explode when you walk past them, and do a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, I don't like this map. This is very scary. I'm very scared. Whatever, another stinky testicle. I killed something with it. Lol. This why you wear your wrist straps, and nearly just threw my controller at the wall. Eh. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I am an adventurer. I adventure. But yeah, this is like a. F oh, hey, an active item. Okay, these are active items. They are items that you use actively. It's like a power up or a special ability. Uh. So I made my way through the caves, dodging traps and tra and, and and hazardous foe. And um, I I slowly made my way. Okay, this is there's nothing over here. <laughs> oh my god, what are you? Get away! <laughs> that is a I. That is a thing. I don't even know what that is. That is terrifying. See, I stun locked them. And he's now dead. Yippee! Oh, there's one there. There's testicles in every corner of this room. If you guys are wondering why the camera is like so nice, this game, um, the developer of this game understands that uh, half the time, people who play VR show it off to other people. So um, he made a like a spectator mode. So that's why everything's so nice looking, and the fact you can also see my health on my on screen. Without me needing to constantly look at my wrist. That is not a real chest. What? I got a key from it. Okay, yeah, that's also you know in typical dungeon crawler fashion. There's a mimic. Guys, it wouldn't be a dungeon crawler if we didn't have a chest try and bait you in and kill you. Uh, continuing forth. It bit me. It bit me. It bit me. 
I was like, that looks like another mimic. Why are there so many creatures? Get the testicle. Get the testicle. There we go. There's another one right there. Yeah, look. Um, I take... Yeah, I... I pff, this is just like, I'm, I'm like the most boring YouTuber. Oh my god, I haven't spoke. Guys, I've, I haven't been like quirky and zany for like 10 seconds in a row. My, my retention is gonna drop and all you guys are gonna stop watching the video and I'm gonna make no money! I repeat, no money! <laughs> I'm looking real hard at the walls for any like weird looking wall textures. Because sometimes, if you smack a wall, it opens a room, but it has to, you know, it has to look funny. Yeah, I don't, on Vive ones, I have no idea how to use this. It's usually just a button input on the Valve Index. It's fine. We don't need our active item. We're gamers. With or without it. Doom Shroom. This is the really annoying one, if I remember. Yeah, he does this. And it's, like, really annoying, because you can't stand and... And then he does that, yeah. He's... This dude is like a run run you down type of boss, but you can also hit his things back at him. Okay, that was that was a lot. E I I don't even think I'm gonna need to cut that down. That was just an easy easy peasy fight. He started jumping, I started whacking, gambling. Yeah, this is the gambler's mark. You see, I, I'd i use it to try and get some health back, but I don't know how to. Settings. Five. Oh no, did I just end my run by trying to change my settings? Oh no, I did too, didn't I? Oh, I... D no! <laughs> Damn, really? Really? So it's not gonna warn me that changing your settings resets your run. What? What? Come on. How was I meant to know this? Alright, well, we're back here, man. Come on. Okay, guys, word of warning. Don't try and change your settings mid-run. Okay, I broke it, and it gave, gave me something in return. I don't know. I don't know if I was meant to break it now. I'm scared. I'm damn scared. I don't know what that means now that I broke it. Smack my roof. Trying to parry. <laughs> what is this? Bone bat. Initially decreases weapon damage, but destroying enemies will increase it past the original values. So, the more I smack enemies, the better it gets. Cool. 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 You'll probably notice me, um, not, like, exactly putting a lot of weight behind my swings. And that's because, because, like, this game is physics-based, as well as being a melee game. Like, if you look, I can just kind of jiggle my weapon a little bit up and down and it flops, but when I swing is when it leaves a cut mark. So, if you just quickly do slashes like that. You'll be doing heaps of damage whilst not tiring yourself out in real life. Like this guy. So I figured out the meta with this guy. You damage him until he does this and then you run into him. There you go. Okay, well he literally took away all my extra protection I got from the last room. So, continuing forth, let's try not to lose it. Uh, massively increased critical chance, but the incoming damage is sometimes increased. <laughs> hmm. So, higher crit chance both ways. Cool. Oh, now my my sword trail is now red. That's cool. <sighs> yeah, you can also just skip most of the climbing segments by throwing yourself. So, if you're a real gamer, Ow! Freak. Yay! <laughs> By the way, the throwing knife is like the best thing in this entire game. I don't know why, 
more developers never thought of doing what this game does with the throwing knife. But oh my god, is it awesome. And it makes so much sense. You throw it, and then you hold trigger to pull it back to you. Like, it's perfect. It is the perfect addition. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Ooh, is it two items or one or the other? Increase the size of your melee weapon when hit time is slowed. I don't even, I mean, I'll take the girthy sword. Oh, trader room. The only safety you get in this game is this one room. Chance to set enemies on fire. Or we can buy keys. I'll buy that. Now my weapon's on fire! That's so cool! You know, the chance to set enemies on fire is nice. I do like it a lot. It is just free damage. Worst case scenario. What? What? Boss fight. Doom Shroom again. Okay, GG. <laughs> I am doing a lot of damage. That foam bat thing I picked up at the start of the run is doing me wonders. Uh, okay, do I take gambling or free kill? Gambling. Okay, that is not nice. Alright, so the gambling didn't work. It took away a heart. Oh, no. Yeah, the active item I picked up is literally called the- Oh! Secret room. That's what you're looking for, a little crack in the wall. What's this? Lore! I entered the ancient dungeon with very optimism and a sense of purpose. I'm not speaking like that for the whole- hold on. I had worked hard among my peers, but had never found a chance by which to truly distinguish myself. Then it came to me. By great luck, another entrance into the ancient dungeon had been found within my lifetime. Immediately, I resolved to enter and, for the first time in human history, mapped its interior. My life seemed a small thing to risk when weighed against such a tremendous endeavor. So this guy is the, 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 the cartographer. That was who, that was the lore entry I read. He, uh, he wanted to map out this place. That's crazy because it's a roguelite and you can't actually map out a roguelite because every single time you enter it, it's different. Get it, guys? That's the joke, guys. He can't actually do it, guys. Okay, I forgot this is just ranged weapon hell. Oh, and then wisps. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is um this is the part where I start to get anxious because from here on the enemies start to get very hard to deal with. Nope. So those pink slimes are like the bane of my existence. They jump at you. Yeah, you don't have much of an option with these guys but to either literally duck their attack or wait for them to shoot and throw a knife at them. I thought that was a mimic, I'm not even gonna lie. Whew, I'm, this is starting to get, like, anxiety-inducing. Oh, the shop. Hi! I meet your friend. Bottled lightning. Golden chime. Alchemist mark. Oh, gambling! 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 Ooh! Marks charge more quickly. Gambling! Okay, cool. I'll take that. <laughs> it's so cool, even when you, like, reflect the, um, attacks, they spin in the direction that your sword influences. So, like, 
It makes it feel like you've actually reflected an attack, rather than it's just bounced off your sword and is going back towards them indiscriminately. God, I hate those things. The dash slimes. Worst enemy in the entire game. Hate them. Hate them more than any other enemy in this game. Really hope my, my ass crack didn't just show on the camera for me squatting down real quick. Because if so, that's going to be, um, funny. That's a, this is a combat room. No, yes, this is a combat room. It is, I was fucking right. Oh my god, what are these? What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? Oh, these are the things you have to parry. Okay, that... <laughs> guys, guys, I may have fucked up a little bit. I killed 118 different creatures before I died. I'm gonna leave that there. Thank you everyone for watching. Last time I posted this game on my channel, it did terribly, but I hope it does better now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you enjoyed, comment, do all the things. Um, yeah, that's all. Bye-bye!